Alright, hello guys. I'm the Dot Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make anything float in midair in Scrap Mechanic Survival. So you can make your base float. You can make a floating CD, literally whatever you want. And currently, I'm testing this on version 0.4.6 test. The actual 0.4.6 should come out really, really soon. And I have also tested it on the current 0.4.5, and it is working there as well. Also only a small percentage of people actually rate my videos and subscribe, so if you end up enjoying this video, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing, you can always change your mind in the future. Alright, let's get on with the video. So as you can see, to show you the glitch, I built this little kind of house thing with, you know, I'm, I'm not great at interiors, so I just put some stuff together. Let's actually walk out of here so I can show you that this is actually not attached to the ground. In any way, so a little, you know, wooden grass, and we also have this thing right here, which will take us to the ground. And as you can see, there is nothing in here at all. So this thing is literally floating in midair. So let's say a farm bot is chasing us. We just hop into the seat, press the button, and we are away and safe from any dangers down below. So I will now show you how you can easily build this yourself and I will also talk about a few limitations of this thing and how you can easily overcome them. Alright, so you have everything that you will need to make this glitch work. Any kind of blocks, I suggest tearing quite a lot of them. The well tool and the connect tool, some bearings, a large chest, a vacuum pump and a single switch. Alright, so building this is actually very simple. First of all, you have to tower up to the height that you want. I'd say this is enough. Now I suggest building some kind of a platform here to make your life much easier. Now what you're gonna do is place down the large chest, however pointing this output towards you, attach the vacuum pump to this and place any block inside of this. You might actually want to use some kind of a stronger block, like for example Metal 3. You will only need one of those, and this is a block that you definitely want to protect. So now what you're gonna do is stand right in front of it, and as you can see, this little block appears here. So you have to stand in the way that the block is white and not red. Now place down the button, connect the vacuum pump, and just click it. Here we go, we have ourselves a little floating block. Now you can place other blocks on this, however the problem is if you remove one of them, the whole thing is gonna fall down. So that obviously is a problem, but there is an easy way to overcome this. So let's make, make ourselves another block in here, take our bearings and cover this thing in the bearings. Now what you're gonna do is take your lift and build a little case for this. So basically we want a structure that will connect to every single one of those bearings. So basically if you want to build it, just do this. Make it like a little cross pattern right here. With a little hole in the middle. Now release it off the lift. Take your weld tool and weld it in a way so that it touches all bearings as you can see. Weld it and you're pretty much good to go. So now starting off this thing, you can build and you can also destroy as you can see. You can now collect the pump, the chest and the tower that you've made to get here. However, you probably want some kind of a way to get up here. So I just suggest using a few pistons like I did over there or some other kind of elevator. Just be careful not to hit the ground or anything else too hard. Because as you might expect, this thing is on bearings. And even though it's on five bearings, which is quite a lot, it's obviously still not 100% stable. So for example, if you were to make a floating city, I would highly suggest that you split it into smaller segments. Or otherwise, stuff may go wrong and might start shifting around as you know how bearings work. So as long as you don't update the one block over there, I would also suggest that you cover it up. You should be fine. Just don't update that block in particular. Only update things that are touching it, for example, on a bearing like this platform right here. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, remember to tell me about them down in the comments or in my Discord server. I was that and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!